Behind me is a prison. It's called Fremantle Prison. Very old prison. It was built in 1850 by convict labour and it closed in 1991. And my family and I, we're going to go on a tour. It's going to go for an hour and a half and we're going to see all the major sites in there including the gallows and the cells and where the prisoners used to live. So come along with me on this tour of Fremantle Prison. He's Phoebe Head, who lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell so don't hesitate. G'day beer lovers, it's our old mate again here, VB Head. Prisoners were crowded in each cell, four prisoners to a cell, and they shared one shit bucket between them. The doors of their cells would open at 8.45am in the morning, and they were locked back up at 5pm at night, and lights went out at 11.30pm. In 1982, there were some renovations done to the prison, and electricity arrived to the cells. Prior to that, none of the cells had electricity. Living conditions in Fremantle Prison have always been very poor, and in 1988 there was a major prison riot, and the prisoners set fire to the building, and the roof was just totally destroyed. The roof has now been totally restored and repaired, and shortly after 1988, the building was closed and prisoners were transferred to a more modern facility in 1991. This is the prison's chapel. Every Sunday, prisoners were encouraged to come here to worship. Between 1889 and 1964, 44 people were executed in this room, 43 men and one woman. On the morning of an execution, the prisoner would be awoken at 5am in the morning where they were given their final meal, they were given a shower and some clean clothes to wear on their execution. They were given a few sips of brandy to calm their nerves, then they were handcuffed and hung just before 8am. The last person to be executed in Western Australia was Eric Edgar Cook and he was executed in this room in 1964. Eric Edgar Cook between 1959 and 1963 committed eight murders and 14 attempted murders. 